good morning guys and I've come up to do a walk around video um, of the a new listing the beautiful Villa Kuka a wonderful three bedroom two bathroom villa detached with wonderful 10 by 5 pool and just looking at this bit very unusual because you've got the side steps and these other very handy set of steps here now the property you're looking there onto a lovely glazed winter room come conservatory with double doors there off the lounge and there's another set of double doors that lead into the master bedroom it's situated in the very popular little hamlet of El Rincon so very easy walking distance to a couple of lovely bars and cafes or restaurants now what you can't see is I've come up an electric gated access drive they've just removed the noisy gravel off of this and put some wonderful kind of soft sand and that leads up to this wonderful covered carport and there's a kind of little storage bin tucked away there and the current owners have got a wonderful dog so you've got security walls and gating on either side so the back garden's totally secure and pet friendly just popping over here so you can kind of have a look at the access there's plenty of off street parking here you've even got room for private vehicle motorhome if required and nice and secure and then the driveway runs up to this elevated roofed newly added carport that's the bay fronted living room you can see there and then kitchen window and then gated access out into the back garden area now I drove here this morning from the office our Belair Centre and took me what six minutes in the car and as I said you've got a fantastic the Castillo bar restaurant in El Rincon not even five minutes walk and then in La Cinta through the lemon groves another two fantastic bar restaurants located there what, maybe 10 minutes 12 minutes walk very popular little hamlet this nicely established pretty not too big not too small and very close to things I'm going to come along through the little side gate here which you've got some nicely kind of established planted beds door on the right there leads into the very good sized utility room and onto the kitchen and then you're coming into what I think glorious back garden you know lots of mature beautiful plants and shrubs a large artificially grassed area and most importantly lots of wonderful fruit trees but the piece de resistance is is absolutely wonderful wooden fly screened enclosure that runs three quarters of the way along the back of the property and looks out over the garden you can see the border there and all these wonderful kind of fruit trees there's a fig just there your oranges and lemons I can see and then this pathway kind of leads along the fly screen enclosed room leading to a very good sized timber shed tucked away discreetly on the other side and what you couldn't see from down there below just take a look at this absolutely amazing backdrop as I said a little bit overcast we've had some much needed rain over the weekend and it's stayed a little bit overcast but I think the sun's finally bursting through and then Sorry, can hear the neighbours chatting away behind me, but we'll ignore that. And from here, you can get a full idea of the scope of this fantastic room. You've got dual door access, one in front of me there, and there was one that I walked past coming around into the back garden. You've got pull-down blinds on all the windows, and you can see here, this is off of a bedroom. There's an extendable sun awning off of that. And this is the gubbins area. You've got a barbecue there and some tools, but you've got a big tall storage shed as well and from this room here you've got door access into a lovely central hallway and off of this you've got access to the lounge and the villas three bedrooms and two bathrooms and you've got English neighbours to the left and the right who are living here full time but there's a good combination of holiday homes on the community as well and directly behind us we've got the garden of a Spanish couple who live there full-time as well 
and as you can see that's the Castillo perched far left of shot and then these beautiful hillside walks going off into the hills there you can see so let's go and take a look onto the inside shall we so coming onto the inside there's lots of access points in and out of the garden but I've come through the utility room into this newly refurbished beautiful kitchen you've got double seal stone worktops you can see there and kickboards very good sized kitchen ample units and this is positioned looking out over the front garden as is the living room and as is the master bedroom so they're all facing forward essentially looking over the gardens and the swimming pool I'm standing now with the entrance door behind me and the utility room so I'll give you a quick shot in there one second you can see this kitchen is big enough you've got a great big dresser in there as well and then arched access look off to the back into this good size utility room and just to the left out shot is the door access out to the garden and then other side of kitchen arch access takes you into the very good size central sitting room which is a bay fronted room and it is literally just a sitting room you'll see what i mean in a second and as i'm pointing out there Throughout, you've had top quality new air conditioning units installed. And those double doors there go out to a lovely glaze or glass curtained conservatory come winter room, which is being used currently as a dining area, leaving this to be just a sitting room. Ceiling fans as well, fly screens on all the windows. Beautiful corner mounted wood burner in there. With that now standing behind me, I've come over to the other side. You can see open access into a good sized hallway, and this leads out to the beautiful fly screen enclosed porch area and the three bedrooms. And around this way, double door access, which previously would have led straight out to the garden, but now this leads into this glorious kind of glass curtained room that overlooks the pool. And the wonderful backdrop of views all these doors slide back so it can be open or totally closed as it is now as you can see this provides a very very good size dining come entertaining area and those double doors there lead off into the master bedroom And as well as the glass curtains, you can see pull down blinds have been installed all the way around this. And again, depending on time of the day, absolutely essential because the sun's virtually coming up right in front of you. Okay, today fine, it's a bit cloudy, but it's useful to have those pull down blinds. Carport, you see there, and then back on into the lounge. Just trying to do this now as if we're doing a kind of viewing trip as we look through the property. I think that'd probably be the way we would do it. We'll take a look at that room last. So bedroom number one. All the bedrooms in here fitted wardrobes. Air conditioning and ceiling fans. Next guest bedroom. This overlooks a lovely back garden area. I'm smiling when I'm doing this because I can hear the neighbours next door who don't know I'm inside doing this film having a good old titter and giggle and a chin whack. <laughs> I'm trying to edit them out, but you might be able to hear them. Immediately to the side of this, you've got the full-size family bathroom with full bath, overhead shower, nice vanity units, etc. fitted into here. And then immediately in front of that, as we come out, you've got the door into the main master bedroom. And here, this has been adapted for someone with mobility issues, so you've got a good sized double shower it's a twin shower actually 
and again a lovely nice vanity unit a new one and then on into the main bedroom and you see there from this side the double doors leading out into the dining area again pan round from this side just quickly to show you that it's a double bank of fitted wardrobes in this one But really, in terms of spec additions, there's not much the current owners could have done. Say so ceiling fans, air conditioning, great wood burner, fitted wardrobes, fly screens. Not much really they could have incorporated more than they have. So last, but by no means least, out into my kind of personal favourite room of the house. Absolutely gorgeous. Previous kind of large wood pergola, but it's really kind of been made into a a room you've got double wood door access out into the back garden but all the windows have been fly screen so it becomes a totally bug free beautifully shaded zone all i can hear is a kind of bird song i'm looking out over all the fruit trees the oranges are just coming into blossom so the smell is absolutely divine shame you can't offer the scratch and sniff facility on the video and what a lovely lovely room this is you can see it kind of doubles as a dining area, relaxation area. You've got a second TV out here, a little bit of an office bureau. The animals love it, it's safe for them. A little pan round over the back garden for you from this side. So there you have the walk around of this absolutely beautiful three bed, two bathroom villa. Full details will appear in the web link below, but viewings can be commenced from now. The list price will be a very reasonable 249,950 euros. But all reasonable offers will be considered. And to arrange a viewing or for further info, pictures, etc., call us as usual. Plus 349504307636 or email us kalidahomes at hotmail.com. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed.